Hello, uh, welcome to the first development log for Color Tumble created by Quirky Software Design. Uh, I put the game out a few months ago and it's got a lot of good feedback. So I've decided to expand on it, uh, build, build a little bit more into it. So I thought I'd take a minute and just show what I am doing to uh, buff up the game, make it a little bit more interesting. But I'd like to emphasize that Color Tumble has always been really simple, and I think that's what people have liked about it, and I want to keep that. So even though as you watch this developmental log and you see the things I'm adding into it, you will still always be able to play the game just as you always have. You don't have to use these this bonus power-up system that I'm working in. You can play it the same simple way you've always played it with no problem whatsoever because uh, I wanted to emphasize keeping it simple because that was one of the things that people seemed to like about it. So, not to drag things out, I'll get on into it. The first thing I would like to point out is, if you notice, the slow-mo button is gone and the rocket boost button is gone. That's because from here on out, the rocket boost will just be on all by default all the time anyway, because it seemed like most of the time that's what people were doing. They were starting the game, hitting rocket boost, and playing the game. So, I'm just going to take that out just make it on by default uh, I've increased the coins that you earn per ad uh, well decreased them to three but you don't have to pay for rocket boost whereas so used to for every ad you watched you would only get to play two games with rocket boost now you'll get to play three without having to worry about hitting the buttons the really only thing I'm leaving is to cut the music on and off and to cut the, all the sound on and off so really getting a little bit better deal for watching an ad uh, let's go on to the next thing. I'll go over the power-up system. So let me start the game up. And I'm going to shut the music and sound off so you can hear me talk. Let it get started here. Okay. Now, what you'll see at the bottom is the new countdown timer. Let me pause it for a second. What happens is every 30 seconds, this timer you're going to see at the bottom will count down to zero and you will be offered two power-ups out of five so you'll only have another 30 seconds to decide which two power-ups you'll want to use so I'll let you see that in action gonna just destroy them until the, the first two power-ups appear And like I said, if you don't want to use these, you can play it the same way you always have and just ignore the power-ups. And there we are. We got the two, first two power-ups. We have a shield and a 25 bonus. Now there's still a lot of play balancing to be done. I just want to show that they're working and what's to come. But like I can hit this 25 bonus. And if you notice, I get a lot. I get a 25 bonus points out of it right off the bat. Also, what I'd like to show is, if you notice, when I'm destroying them, now when you destroy the cube, you don't immediately get the point. It'll release a little sphere that will travel up to the point, and that is part of the bonus system. If you notice, when I hit this 25 bonus, all these spheres traveled up to strike the score before you could get the points. That's part of the game, staying alive, once you trigger the bonus to for all your bonus spheres to get up there. Once again, there's still play balancing to come in. I'm probably going to slow them down a bit. And uh, also, it'll be working within the combo system. I want to start this up and keep showing you, but I don't know if I can do it quick enough to get the blue. Nope. Let me start the game again here. And it would do something crazy, wouldn't it? Hold on a second. Okay, now let's show again. I'll get to let you see some of the other power-ups. And there's going to be more built into this system. Right now, it's just five basic ones that I've designed to get the system up and working. But I have something that's going to be offered in another update coming out pretty soon. Just want to show you another power-up at work here. 
we've got different things and here we go now we've got a shield and if you noticed the shield is messed up right now you can't see it it's usually a blue shield that appears and creates drag on the blocks which will give you a chance to fire on them more but that's a little broken at the moment Of course, it was working fine before, but we've got a rocket power up that just automatically fires rockets, but you get a lot more points if you let the rockets hit. The only trouble is you don't know which ones the rockets are going to hit. So, like, I can't wait for this yellow to hit. I can't wait for the red or the green. But for every time the rocket hits, I'm getting five. So it's just ways to make you think a little bit more. Let's see what our next two is going to be or going to be. the green one ha uh -huh. okay the green one if you notice makes you invincible for a short time you can't take any damage you can't lose the game so on the higher levels where they're really flying at you fast it can help out but basically what I wanted to show in this system was that how the power-up system is going to work how it's going to offer you two two power-ups at a time and that's going to be in the first update this update one that'll be coming out uh, very soon hopefully by Christmas but what I'm going to do for January is I'm going to even expand on that I don't have any of that built yet but what is going to happen is there's going to be a store whenever you score points you are creating stars that you can use to unlock new types of power-up buttons there's going to be a store created with all kinds of different power-ups that have all different kinds of effects and what you will do is you'll unlock these power-ups and then create a deck of five that you can carry with you into the game so um, I'm, I've thought of some really creative stuff that I hope is gonna play well into the game and everybody can look forward to that um, that's what I've got coming so far. That's the changes to color tumble that are coming. Once again, what you just saw is not balanced. It's not complete. and It had a, still had a little bug in it where the shields weren't rendering properly. They were supposed to be down on the bottom of the screen. I don't know why they jumped to the top, of course, when I'm trying to do this video. But um, I'm going to have that corrected. And hopefully I'll have this out for everybody soon. Everybody who's interested in playing a little more color tumble and getting a little bit more in-depth game out of it. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Have a good night.